And we're back. Our final series of the night is ready for us, and this is going to be a good one. We've got a cracker lined up again here. Uh, let's check out exactly who it is. It's going to be the Notorious Octanes of Willerton Senior High School. You'll probably recognize that uh, high school name from last season as well. And you'll recognize the other one as well. Vanguard on the other side is Colby Catholic College. Uh, both these teams coming out of WA. Uh, Colby and Willerton both uh, fought for that title last season quite heavily so i'm expecting these two teams to come out swinging again swinging again yeah again this is going to be the last game of the night and it is the first day of this long long split that we have up against us uh and it means that no matter how these teams turn out we've had a couple games that we watched earlier both been 2-0 finishes and the fact that the, some of the teams succeeded and some of the teams unfortunately didn't they'll still have plenty of opportunity to show their stuff have a chance to improve their skills, get a better taste of the way Twilight are set out, how to play them, and really start to get into it, which I think is going to be really fun to watch to see how some teams, despite losing in the first round and not performing the way they want to, could develop and improve to become really fantastic teams by the end of the tournament. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled and you follow everyone along, because it, it, I am really interested in myself, and I think everyone else should be as well. As uh, Teal and Tam, I'm sure that's supposed to be Tim Tam, but uh, Brain Damage is going to get a hold of that, run it back upfield, and he's doing so with 160 ping right now. Uh, his ping is very, very high, and he's got yeah. control. Yeah, wow. Uh, I mean, it's unfortunate that some players are going to have to bring in some kind of ping, but it looks like he still managed to hold onto the ball and get the first point on the board for his team. Coming away and again, Tim Tam taking the shot. But it's Mr. Mellon for the save. This time it's not a. Uh, it's not going to be. It, 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 it's a different platform we're advertising this time. It's Twitch.tv. Some of our high schoolers are, are really getting into the esports thing, so definitely support them. Yeah, these guys really know how to. Uh, these guys really know how to advertise their stuff. First we had TikTok, now we have Twitch. <laughs> we're gonna see like a Twitter handle next or something. It's uh, uh, maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe we already have and we just didn't know it. Everybody go and start <laughs> searching. <laughs> Mr. Mellon off the post. Thought we'd seen another one there. Get away there. But, oh my goodness. We're just seeing... Oh, and this there it is from Finn. Side. Notorious Octanes are just diving on everything. It left that open and a shot comes through from Finn. Yeah, with the new Formula One Formula One body as well. I haven't seen many of them oh, around. Yeah, he's got the new one. It's quite nice. Yeah. I, I, they did that last season of F1 as well. They brought that body in um, and... It actually does look dramatically different. I didn't realize. Yeah, I mean, I think that plenty of us... Oh, oh what a shot. And there comes number three from Mr. Mellon. Evening out and everyone on the team now getting a nice even goal each and putting them 3-0 up, which is a fantastic lead to be able to take this early in the game and this quickly. I mean, if you were, if you were uh, a League of Legends caster, which you are, you probably call this a good kill distribution. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, brain damage coming into this one again. It's going to get centered away. Mr. Mellon on top of it. Tim Tam is coming through. A little bit more patience displayed this time, but it doesn't matter. The 50 goes badly. Brain damage just coming away with his second there. And uh, that is so unfortunate for Tim Tam. He took the challenge well. That is just unlucky. Yeah, it really sucks to jump up for a ball that you, you're trying to defend or try to stand up for. And like you said, the 50-50, it's like a coin flip. You're going up, all right, I got this. And whether or not the ball goes in your favor, if you able to score a goal, it just bounces right behind you and goes straight in your net. Mm -hmm. it, it, there are, and I know this is more Rocket League mechanics and understanding how to play the game. Oh. Ooh, Finn. almost lovely. So close. Off the backboard, that was incredible. It's going to come back to the midfield again here as Tim Tam goes up. Stalls underneath the ball though, and uh, isn't going to be able to get any forward momentum on this. They've been struggling to push out, and already a big scoreline for Vanguard is going to continue increasing here as Mr. Mellons takes his second as well. Mm -hmm. They have taken a massive leg up in this game, and it is looking very good for them. These guys are smashing out goals. They have incredible ball control. Their, their communication seems really good. They're getting the ball around to everywhere they need to be, and following up on these backward shots a lot. 
which is a good sign for a team that is trying to succeed and try to learn. Their wall play is looking really good as well. And just a wonderful, wonderful little solo goal there. Bring the score up to six from brain damage here. Wonderful. Nice little bounce off the backboard as well to finish it all up. First hat trick achieved here as well for brain damage. And uh, the Cynet player coming in on console and coming in hot. Looking pretty good despite this ping. I cannot imagine that he can see a lot of what's going on and he's still performing. <laughs> it would be amazing to see what he could do if he could see the screen well. <laughs> yeah, ping is such a huge factor, especially in Rocket League games. Like, mm. I swear I'm playing and the ball is going left, is right. Oh. Oh. Mr. Uh. Mills again. There's a second hat trick come up. Been lagging behind me. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the uh, playmaker award here, though, with the three assists. Yeah, fantastic. And you really do realize how much lag can impact your play when you yourself experience lag. And it is incredibly bad. The fact that Mr. Melon's performing as well as he is right now is incredible. This is uh, really on target for a big scoreline game. And it's going to be another one. They're, uh, they're really going for it here. We have barely passed halfway in this match. And 8 to 0 is the scoreline. They're giving no room here oh, at all. It's uh, it's really just no quarter given to our team here, the Notorious Octanes. They're just getting taken down and in such a massively dominant fashion from Vanguard. Yeah, Vanguard has been performing so incredible in the past couple of minutes as well, and they still have another game lined up against them. but. As I was saying, their ball control is just looking extremely dumb. Like, oh, a nice little arrow come from Tim Tam. But again, these aerial plays have been very 50-50 or very much in the favor of Vanguard. And they've been controlling this super well. Another shot dropping right in front of the goalpost. It does bounce off the crossbar and is going to head further back out. Coming away again, Finn trying to get this on target and it's all three oh <laughs> no <laughs> what did i just see my goodness dropping it all down right in front of finn letting him bring the score up to nine no and it is just a dominant performance from these guys it, yeah wow still finn looking for his hat trick Got two on the board. He wants to fall for a for a second, and sorry for a third, and he's definitely going to be looking for it. They seem to have the time. They have the space. Ooh. Ten are, are really flailing here. This is uh, tough for them. Clearly, the ranks are fairly different now with these two teams, but they're starting to get scared now, and the Notorious Octans are just jumping at every slight movement of the ball. They need to just take a breath calm down and you know, try and understand the plays a little more definitely need to keep rotation in mind whenever we see somebody go forward we generally see all three of them go forward uh, uh, not a great look and something that i'm sure they'll correct as this season goes on mm -hmm. we don't want them to get too big for their boots as well if they're performing as well as they are then they can put on some fantastic performances and see some fantastic success but when you're performing this well you get a, you can get a bit too excited and like you're saying pushing up with too many people if you right now they have three at the front all in the same spot on the ball oh yeah well, there's not really any risk to them right now though because because of that aspect out of uh out of their opponents here it's it's gonna be tough to kind of not have that attitude that you can go into your opponent's half and and really have that tight rotation on the aggression keep the pressure on and just get more goals added onto that board all the time this second half in saying that has actually led to less goals for vanguard than the first so opportunities are narrowing here as we see adjustment out of the notorious octanes and we should see that as well yeah. When you come in and you're outmatched, you have the most to learn out of a series. Which is, and there we go. The game goes straight into Bad God's hands as the ball takes its final bounce with a final scoreline of 10 to 0. A very yeah, impressive game. And despite brain damage being on 200 ping, he still looks to take four goals on his side. Mm. Now, 
whether this confidence will turn into overconfidence and they'll be pushing up too much, too hard, we'll see. You know, it's really up to how both teams decide to, as you were saying, reposition, re-coordinate, rediscuss everything. Because again, it looks like Vanguard is going to be dominant here unless something changes. And the notorious Octanes are uh, all very impressed by uh, this performance from Vanguard as well. Just uh, checking ranks in there. Turns out uh, there's a reason that brain damage was looking so good there despite uh, that ping issue because he's the only one in this lobby sitting at a champ rank right now. So coming up above, you can see that uh, Season 5 tournament winner though coming up on the side of both Mr. Melons and Finn there. Mm-hmm. Paired up with not only a champion, but his other two teammates are sitting at Diamond 3 as well, just mm. a sliver away from being champion, which is just a <laughs> very, very scary team to yep. be up against. But again, playing for Notorious Octanes, when you play when you play in any sport up against people who are potentially out of your league, very difficult to play against, and a higher rank than you, there's so much to learn from them and so much to see that I think these guys are going to develop exponentially, especially if they have more than one game to play against them. And I'm really interested to see how they change their play styles to try and adapt to such an overwhelming obstacle. Uh, you also have a higher capacity for learning uh, when you're a, a newer player into this. Vanguard kicking us off early again, and it's brain damage, of course, to come through with that shot, Finn, getting that fake through there. And uh, uh, yeah, t I don't think that we're seeing terrible stuff out of the, the Notorious Octanes for the ranks here. I think they are putting in a good effort. They can work more as a team and uh, shore up these touches a bit definitely see some competition out of them however they are in that position they can learn the most out of this by far and so much quicker than their opponents are going to learn how to deal with them uh because they've got so much more there available to them mm -hmm. notorious octanes really have a lot of people swarming around the ball but for a better reason than it seems like vanguard is doing that they <laughs> brain damage with complete control over the ball once again his pink starting to look a little bit more reasonable here ah, as i speak it goes up his pink fluctuating <laughs> within reasonable levels, and he is going to take it once again for a second goal in his pocket. Notorious Octane's playing very, very defensively because they know that they're going to have to to be able to hold on to a tighter scoreline here. I, it, my number one uh, thing I would say to take away from this is to go and watch some videos on rotation because it doesn't matter how bad your mechanics are. As a newer player, there's only so much you can do. Mechanics are hours. Mechanics are game hours. What you can do is you can go away and you can study a little bit. You can go and watch those videos on uh, rotation. Make sure that you're kind of, if you separate that field into six different sections, you never really want to be in the same section as Ooh, one of your own That's a bit of a nasty here. one there. That's a brilliant shot by Mr. Melon. Wow, what a wonderful mid-air redirect as well from Mr. Melon. During his aerial to drop it straight into the back of the net. Fantastic. But yeah, so it's stuff like that. It's basic changes that can really make a team jump really enormously. And, and they could look very different by the next time we see this team come out. But uh, I'm expecting another big scoreline coming out of this one. Already we are seeing adjustment though, because by this stage, there was a lot more goals on the board last game. Yeah. And I think for all of our aspiring grand champions out in the audience and some of the players who may be re-watching this again, uh, it's a nice little number five once again. Uh, for our, uh, our aspiring players who are trying to reach those higher ranks, how high do you... Obviously, I think mechanics are a vital part of getting to an extremely high rank, but how far do you think average mechanics and some brilliant game sense and things we're talking about, like rotations and, and game understanding, things like that, how far do you think that can take you? I know that's a, well, that's a bit of a difficult question You as just well, kind of... But... Well, no, it's not for me because you just described me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, no, I, I, my, my mechanics are getting there, but uh, definitely not my strong suit. I have watched, uh, you know, professional level players go through and do a run on a new account using no high-level mechanics at all just to see where they can get off of Game Sense positioning and rotation alone. And they were able to hit Je uh, Grand Champ. It wow. is doable at any level. If you have good decision making and you can just hit the ball consistently, even without high level mechanics, you can get all the way to the top level. 
That is, that's a, that's incredible. I think that's a really brilliant thing to hear for anyone. And to show how achievable Grand Champ is as well. And mm. how many players in the entire Rocket League ranked scheme are lacking that high level understanding of game sense and being able to mm -hmm. do that. Which means if you, as a player, decide to pick up some game sense, decide to watch a couple of videos, decide to learn your rotations, that puts you such a cut above the rest. It's so it worth really does. taking a look at how to do these rotations. And not, not just rotation, but your game sense, positioning, some slight accuracy in your shots as well. Yeah, I mean, it's still gonna take time. You have to develop game sense to some degree. Uh, you're gonna have to put those hours in if you wanna be the best here in the AEL. Uh, sorry, wrong, wrong org, wrong org. Uh, <laughs> in the meta high school esports league here. And uh, I've been doing a lot of AEL lately. Don't, don't mind me. Yeah, uh, I get you. Right. On, on the brain, on the brain. But uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely it will it will put you a cut above the rest because especially when you're in a high school league, I think a lot of the uh, kids coming in here, they want to have fun with this, and that is great. I encourage that all. Uh, the entirety of this should be for you to have fun, to do what you can for your school, and to uh, to get a name for yourself. But a lot of fun comes out of, uh, for, for a lot of people, is in that mechanical gameplay. If you just push yourself to do that little bit extra to make sure your game sense is there, to make sure your rotations are on point, then you become a truly extraordinary player. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really a mix of experience, game time practice, and any not just video games, not just sport, but pretty much anything you can do. Putting your mind to it, sitting down, whether it be studying, whether it be artistic skills if you look at all the things you need you need to cover whether it be your uh, your painting mechanics or your painting <laughs> game sense <laughs> uh, then then i'm sure that you'll definitely reach a level that you didn't expect you could finn another shot that is so well taken vanguard really standing up here we're, we're talking a lot about the changes that we could see out of the notorious octanes clearly they're then you are coming into this they they're, they're uh, ready to make some changes to their gameplay and they've been trying to implement them this game as well it's really starting to blow out for vanguard's favor now again here but you know, th there's been changes and i'm already seeing uh more defense coming out of this team but we've talked so much about them vanguard though have entirely this whole time we've been talking just displayed what excellent players they are as well yeah uh, big commits up field and stuff but you know we don't really know that that is mistakes out of them they are playing to the advantage against the current team they're up against play styles considered this is the right move for vanguard and they are making big room for it yeah absolutely they are I mean, if they can score more goals, they can. And they have the quite large mechanical and game sense advantage here. So they can just push up and score as many goals as they like. And yeah, it's it's it can be tough to be on the receiving end of this many goals. But you can see how each and every single goal was scored. And it is tiring to always... It can be tiring to always have to learn from everything. But there's always just a tiny little nugget of wisdom for you to improve on within every goal that even is scored against you. And it's not only uh, the orange side here that has been making these changes. Even Vanguard, Finn on top of leaderboard right now as everybody on board ha now has four goals each. A 12-0 scoreline. It's a really massive game out of them. But Finn has made some big changes to be at the top of that leaderboard. He really was uh, sitting a bit more quiet. But this game, he's gotten some massive reads off the backboard, some redirects, taken pass as well. And he's come up as a ma major, major player here. And that kind of adaptation is really good to see. Yeah. And I think another thing I think would be super interesting, I don't know how much we would hear about it or how much we would... There he is again. <laughs> uh, we would... Massive. Mm -hmm. Again, wonderful goal from Finn, from 13. There is a really interesting sense of some of these players and some of these teams potentially realizing that there are brilliant players that they're up in the competition. Even the players who are playing right now, despite being quite high rank and being quite dominant in this match, uh, there may be other high schools as well, potentially some we've seen so far, that have players that are also at this level are going to be able to give up quite the challenge to play against them. And how many teams after getting in there? Because the first day, they're walking into the tournament like, I know this much, and I'm yeah. a little bit nervous, but I'm going to walk into the tournament knowing 
knowing this much. But when they come out of the first day, they're like, wow, that team knew this much and this team knew this much. This team's so good at this. We need to get better at this. We're pretty good at this compared to the other teams. If we can constantly focus on improving this one thing, then we're going to be a cut above the rest. And I wonder how many teams are really going to sit down and have like their little boot camp over every single week before every single game that they play, just to make it a little bit more exciting, a little bit more interesting. And for the same time, giving them more of a chance to analyze and reflect on their Rocket League skills and improve their position in the tournament. Still big efforts being put out from losing side here, but with 15 seconds remaining, this is 100% closed away. I'd say it has been for uh, quite a while here, but uh, Vanguard still trying to show themselves as one of the big contenders for their region here. And uh, it is it is a uh, heavily contested region because there are so few teams entering into WA this season. So this is a big contender for it. Uh, Vanguard have absolutely shown that they are a team to not be trifled with. Uh, and Notorious Octanes, they've got some stuff to work on. I, I hope they had fun with this. It, it, it's very tough uh, to enjoy a match when you are just getting shot on over and over and over again, but they can analyze their opponents in this, come away and look better next time. Um, yeah, I, 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 this is what we're here for, though. This is the fun uh, that we're here for, and uh, Vanguard definitely had fun with it. Mm hmm And I think Vanguard, uh, however many teams are in WA, which we'll see further in these coming weeks in competition, Vanguard have sort of painted a little target on their back as some of the prime, especially live on stream, as some of the prime guys to if you beat these guys, you're the you're you're the you could be the best team in the tournament or the best team in the region at the very least, because these guys have had such a good showing. I'll be like, damn, if we beat those guys, we must be uh mm. we must be able to win by this kind of margin as well. And saying that, I have to say I think brain damage is the the big MVP for today. But I, I think despite you know, Finn coming in and showing his performance. Mr. Mellon is doing fine. The fact that Brain Damage on such high ping the entire time and still managed yeah, to perform as well as he did. Yeah, he takes my award today. Uh, my choice was actually going to be Mr. Mellon's out of that just on consistency because, uh, you know, Brain Damage coming through as that higher rank player, you expect him to perform. It was Mr. Mellon's that actually surprised me with how good he was and he performed almost identically mm. in every single, uh, in both matches of that. So, uh, I, I think he came through with consistency, but I wasn't really considering that one point that you mentioned there. And that is that brain damage was playing on some massive ping, not just big, but fluctuating, which means not only was the ball responding weirdly on screen, his entire car would have been hard to control. He would have been teleporting over all over field. And he still performed to that level. So yeah, I, I would agree. We, we're going to give it to brain damage, the MVP. It, it's a, it's a hard, tough choice. Mr. Mellons definitely did perform. Finn coming up in that second game performed extremely well as well. Uh, changing his kind of position on field to make sure he was in that contest, but brain damage pushing through that ping to be still that dominant is an amazing, amazing showing uh, a really good display, but that is all we've got tonight. That is our first week down for the meta high school esports league. Don't, uh, don't, drop this channel because we've got so much more going on so much more to show you uh but yeah week one down quicksand it was so good to have you on board man uh definitely good to to just see a new face in here uh to welcome somebody to the stream to uh the game and uh yeah we look we're looking forward to more out of you as well man yeah, I'm excited to work with you more as well, Gex. I think we'll be here almost every week together, performing these Rocket Leagues, watching these, uh, watching all these teams grow and develop together. I'm really excited. I hope you're excited. I hope everyone else yeah. watching is excited. Yeah, get excited because so much more to come. And uh, it's all brought to you by MSI and Torrens University as well. Some uh, really big sponsors there. Shout out to them uh, for making this all possible. Uh, we really can't do this without their support. So uh, some big names there. Go and check them out. Uh, MSI does some awesome stuff with computers, monitors, peripherals, just about everything you can imagine. And Torrens University, uh, a tech college that uh, is really doing wonders in that scene. Uh, if you're coming out of high school and you're looking for something to do, Torrens University, uh, check that out. But for now, we're going to send it off and uh, we will see you next week. Thank you all for coming out and uh, we'll see you next time.